give a damn. I don't give a damn. It's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> Since I started at Electroheads, I've been really keen to buy myself an e-bike because I'm a cyclist. So today we're going to go hit up Fully Charged where I'm going to have a chat with Max who has been there since day dot. And he's going to tell me about the top five bikes that have been selling this year. But before we go there, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so that you get notified every time a new video comes out. And okay, this might be asking a little bit much here, but if you want to get some exclusive content, make sure to click the link below for our Patreon. Let's go. All right guys, so we're at Fully Charged now. Max is behind me just prepping the bikes and I'm gonna hand it over to him where he's gonna tell us the top five. Okay guys, so bike number one is the GoCycle GX. This is the ideal bike for smart urban riding and inner city living. It's fast folding, it folds in about 10 seconds. It's very light and very balanced. It's really, really nimble weaving through traffic. Very, very maneuverable when it's folded. So if you wanna lift it, upstairs into your flat or into your office or into the back of an uber even to get it on the tube but to be honest you'd probably rather ride it than take the tube because it's such a such a nice bike to ride another great point about this bike is that it's universally sized so it can hold anyone from four foot eleven to six foot six you can share the bike in your household with your partner with mates and you can just easily adjust the saddle height the other main touch points are the boost button you have on this bike you can press and hold this boost button to give you 100% assistance for hills or if you just really don't feel like doing any exercise you can just really press that and uh, zoom to your destination. Priced at £2,899, uh, GoCycle is a premium price but there are lots of incentives to buy such as cycle to work schemes, 0% finance, tax benefits for buying through businesses and, and all sorts. Okay on to the next bike. Okay, so bike number two is the Super 73 S2. You probably know all about this bike. If you don't, Google it. Uh, you will find a wealth of awesome people who have this bike. Cara Delevingne, Jack Black, Will Smith, the YouTube gang, you name it, they got it. This bike is great for city exploring, pointing and squirting in the city, if you like. It is not limited to just the road, um, thanks to these meaty tires. Um, they eat up potholes, you can go on canal paths, you can cut through parks. The battery is absolutely monstrous, it's 960 watts, which means that you probably only need to charge it once or twice a week. So the motor on the S2 is pretty beastly, uh, it will get you up to 15.5 miles an hour like that. If you are fortunate enough to have some private land, you can de-restrict the bike to go 28 miles per hour through the app. Just to round it off, the Super 73 S2 comes in at 3,300 pounds. On to the next. All right, on to bike number three. This is the Moustache Samadhi 27 X Road 1. It's priced at 2399, which is uh, entry level price point. Uh, it's really good to get into the whole activity of e-biking. Bit of a crossbreed bike, so you can commute in the week and you can explore on the weekend. Got a sporty yet comfortable position and it's got these big chunky tires which are really versatile. The great thing about the moustaches is they use the Bosch electric bike system. Probably the best system on the market in terms of the power delivery, the range, the intuitiveness. So to sum it up, if you want the bike that can do it all, that's a jack of all trades, then this is the one for you. Next. All right, bike number four is the Reese and Muller Tinker Vario. This is one of the more expensive bikes at 3779, but with very good reason. Firstly, it's got this combination of uh, Enviola hub and belt drive. This just results in a really smooth ride next to no maintenance and also super quiet. You have this rear rack, which can carry 25 kilos, so you can carry all sorts on there. You've got the Bosch setup, so you've got the Bosch performance motor, which is super powerful. You've got the 500 watt hour battery, which means it gives you a massive range. You also get this combo of suspension seat post and suspension in the front, so it's super smooth. You have this very powerful supernova light. Um, you've got this adjustable stem, which uh, you can just adjust for your ideal riding position and also store, very narrow. All of this just results in one of the smoothest, best rides that, uh, that, that we have in this store. You really need to try it to believe it. So if you're looking for a inner city bike that's fast, nimble, can store easily, can carry a lot, then this could be the one for you. Next. All right, bike number five is the Decenio SP Urban. This is the e-bike that doesn't look like an e-bike. It's incredibly beautiful, incredibly light at just 13.9 kilos, integrates its battery beautifully into the down tube. You have a motor hidden into the back wheel in combination with this carbon belt. 
So it's next to no maintenance. So the pricing starts at £3,409, but the pricing can vary hugely because these bikes are highly customizable. Each bike is handcrafted in Spain and takes about 50 hours to build each bike. So you can go into a multitude of options, colors, spec levels, and you can really go to town on making this bike perfect for you. If you want something that's timeless in design, rides incredibly smoothly, and it's just one of the most high-end, lightweight bikes on the market, then this could be for you. Now, back to Ailish with her pick of the bunch. Can you guys guess which bike I went for? Right, I want you to pause this video, and before I reveal it, I want you to comment below and let me know which you think it is. All right, you ready? Let's do this. It's the Tinker. <laughs> I went for this bike because instantly when I got on it, the positioning was amazing. It was really comfortable to ride. Also, it's really quick, really nimble. And like Max said inside, you just need to ride this thing to actually understand why it's so good. And I've literally just done that. And now I see why this is my favorite, hands down. When I first saw the bikes, instantly my eye was drawn to the Designo, but after I rode it, it's got nothing on this for me, personally. I mean, obviously, different bikes for different people, but hands down, this is the one. Also, I tried the Go Cycle. I really thought that that was going to be it too, but that one just had three gears, whereas this one has got way more that you can play with. So, tinker all the way. On the subject of e-bikes, if you guys want to check out a sick video that we made recently on the Super 73s, click the link above where myself, Jack, and Cole ride around the city getting some sick shots for Instagram. Right. On that note, thank you so much for watching. As always, make sure you like and subscribe and comment below and uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Ta-ta.